Hello America, Mexico, and remote parts of Canada. This is Raw Burgundy reporting live from the Facebook servers with some breaking news for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys, I'm in a good mood, uh, but I do want to show you something new I just saw on the Facebook version. Uh, today my town hall hit level 10, um, and a new tab over here on the right appeared that says reset base. So when you click on reset base, it brings you to a base editing mode, which is amazing. Um, I didn't hear any talk about this at all. It just I had no idea about it. Um, I just kind of stumbled upon it today. I haven't seen any other videos on it, and I do not know if people already know about this or not. I haven't been on the forums very much lately, um, and the only people I watch on YouTube pretty much are Sans7 and Distagio, and I know they don't have any videos on this, so... Alright, over here we can go to clear all buildings. When you click it, it pops your base up for you, pops every building up. And then down here, they appear in a tab. You can scroll through. Um, when you do click a building, it brings the ghost version onto your base, and you can move it wherever you want. And when you set it down, it is set on your base in that position, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, say you're putting new walls around your base you go ahead and put one of the blocks down and then it brings you to four arrows pointing in each direction you can click on one arrow hold it down and then drag it and it'll go in a straight line uh, you can't switch directions but you can put another one down do the same thing again and there you go real easy now I would have to say that this is going to be coming to the Android servers very soon I don't see why this wouldn't be on other versions of Castle Clash as well and on Facebook we had the calendar and everything like that before Android so I'm just speculating that this is something everyone should look forward to in the very near future possibly next update uh, like I said there's been no talk on it that I know of so I'm really not sure I just wanted to share this with you um, there's no way to save different bases, so it's not like you can make a base and then save it and just put it up anytime. That's not one of the features. But anyways, this is going to make it so much easier. You just go through here and, you know, I'm doing it quickly, but you can put down wherever you want. Uh, and if you don't, if you like what you made or whatever, if you're happy with it, you can click save and that'll be your new base. If you're not, you just hit back, OK, and you're back to your original base. So very short video, just wanted to share this information, hopefully uh, not too many people know about it, and I'm the first one bringing you the info, if not, I apologize, and I guess I tried anyways, but uh, yeah, I've been playing over here in my spare time, uh, it's nice to get a little break from Android servers, and it's given my account time to just gain honor badges and shards while I'm, you know, not sitting around complaining because of the bottleneck or whatever, so yeah. Uh, my guild over here, Raw, shout out to these guys, they've been great, bunch of members, couple members I know from the forums also, uh, we're currently ranked number one, baby, um, alright guys, yeah, that was pretty much all I wanted to show you, and thanks as always for watching, and also thanks for 1,000 subs, all the support has been great. I'm in the middle right now of getting together a pretty big giveaway with some accounts and some gift cards. So give me a couple days on that and I will be announcing the, the giveaway details and all of that. Alright guys, thanks again and I'll talk to you guys later.